Hi, I'm Sabri to see you in It's so good to have you here. And today I have my face mask recommendations. I have tried 11 face masks and I'm going to tell you how these things worked for me. And I'm going to talk about the ingredients, uh, textures, because it doesn't make any sense for you to buy 11 face masks at once. So I hope from this video, you can be able to pick the best for you. So yeah. Uh, let's start then so first i have these two face packs from the body shop this is their uh, almond milk with oats face pack and this is their coffee intense uh, face mask and frankly if you ask me to choose between this and this i'm gonna pick this one and i'll tell you why so this one is very moisturizing it feels very soothing this uh, almond and oat one it has bunch of uh, this uh, oils then it has oat milk it also has one fermented ingredient so if your skin is allergic to fermented ingredient then it may not work for you if you get white heads very frequently then it may not work for you to be very honest but the texture of this one is so nice and it is very moisturizing like i told you uh, it has this mild scent not too much uh, this is not fragrance free and yeah i really like this i have tried honey mask from i'm from that one is very moisturizing and hydrating after that honey mask if you ask me to pick one nourishing face pack i'm gonna pick this one this is so nice uh, but it is around 200 uh, sorry 2295 for 75 ml and i got like 50 percent discount on this and the body shop they give 50 percent discounts uh like sometimes so if you want to buy that i would tell you to wait for the sale and this one this is the coffee uh, face mask it promises to like work on dull skin if you have dull skin it's gonna give you the glow it also promises to hydrate and it feels hot when you apply this mask i tell you why because it has glycerin in it so glycerin ka kya hai if a, a product it has very uh, high amount of glycerin you'd notice that it feels hot upon application and the glycerin is the first ingredient it also has sesame oil then it has this coffee powder so it also works as a scrub you know and you gotta be like a bit careful because the thing those coffee granules are not that uh, soft or nice i mean if you rub them harshly it may cause irritation and frankly i think it didn't do anything for my skin i tried this twice uh it's just like it is very underwhelming you know even this is quite expensive this is 2095 uh 2295 rupees for 75 ml um i got 50 percent discount on this as well but honestly i won't be buying this again because if i have to revive my dull skin i won't reach for this one because it didn't do much frankly and the scrubbing granules are a bit harsh and if you're looking for one uh, manual scrub that you can also uh, like apply as a face mask i'd recommend to you this one this is pure sense pink guava face mask i have been trying this for a long time and this is a very good uh, face uh, scrub actually this is not a mask but you can use this as a mask what you're gonna do you apply uh, this on with skin you keep this on for say five minutes then gently you massage this because it has the scrubbing granules and this granules and gentle than uh, this one and yeah voila you have soft glowing skin even i like this one the ingredients list of this one more than this one but uh, this is more affordable it has niacinamide it has melon extract and i think it can work for all skin types you can use this twice in a week if you want to so yeah it can be a good thing i reckon and then i tried these two face packs from uh this brand chemist uh, conscious chemist so this one is for giving you the bright and glowing skin and this one is if you have like congested pores textures because it has aha bha and they have added saffron petals as well to give you the glow so this is tricky this flash fix uh, exfoliating mask the first time i applied this my chin area it became red and i was scared 
uh, and I thought no I'm not gonna use that again the second day I applied it uh, second time rather it was okay but the third day I mean third time I applied again the redness was there also bumps here and there so this can be tricky to be very honest the texture of this mask is quite nice and the brand is selling this as one exfoliating face mask but if you want one good exfoliating face mask I'd rather recommend you this one this is ordinary salicylic acid 2% mask this is very nice it has 2% salicylic acid it has clays but it doesn't feel drying um, the texture is very nice it has charcoal in there and I have noticed the charcoal based masks sometimes they can be over drying but this one is not so if you have clogged pores if you have blackheads if you get uh, pimples then this salicylic acid mask can help you out also you can try chemical pills those serum kind of a thing that you wash off uh, this plum has one doctor says they have one many brands even ordinary has one this red pill which I am I have not tried it yet I bought it but I'm still taking time because uh, I don't know I <laughs> This product is something that scares me. I mean, I read wonderful stuff about that, but still, I'm taking some time uh, to use that product. But yeah, if you're looking for this kind of like face mask, then I would rather recommend you this one, this ordinary salicylic acid 2% mask. This one I won't be buying again, to be very honest. But this one I really like. This is their very bright face mask. This is for soothing and calming, and also it's gonna give the glow because it has niacinamide it has berry extract and this is my second uh, tub i forgot to add this in my empties so sorry for that yeah but i love this one it has this beautiful texture uh, initially i was like um i didn't like you know like love this this much because i didn't apply much like i used to apply a really thin amount of this product but now i apply a thick amount of it's going to depend on your skin if your skin's going to like thin or thick amount of this product but the brand says to apply thin amount of this but yeah if you're looking for a hydrating face mask that gives you nice glow then you can try this one for sure but sometimes it stings my this area a bit but not too much it didn't give me any skin irritation and yeah i'm gonna buy this again many more times because currently this is one of my favorite masks and you can apply this twice or thrice now wake max and good stuff they have used really good ingredients in there and if you want more detailed review on ingredients of this uh, face packs i'm gonna make one post on instagram next month okay so then i have one new thing i tried this is from simple their vitamin c brighten clay mask they say it has vitamin c and it also has this one niacinamide but these two things come after phenexin also you know that it has less than or almost one percent of this ingredients uh, this is mainly one kaolin clay and glycerin based mask and this is very good if you want that instant pick me up glow uh, and if i have to pick between this and this this is almost the same like you know Thing. They have used clays, then uh, extracts like turmeric extract. But if you have to pick one uh, for brightening clay mask, I'm gonna pick this one because it worked better for me. And the texture of this mask, it feels better for me. So yeah, this Petal Fresh Papaya Turmeric uh, Vitamin C Face Mask, you get very good quantity of product. And if it works for you, then that's fine. Uh, this is okay, but it doesn't give me as much glow as this. A simple uh, face mask it does so yeah I'm definitely gonna pick this one over this uh, petal fish and I'm comparing these things because I found this similar kind of textures and ingredients this has kaolin clay and this has I think this one bentonite clay um, then it has a papaya fruit extract turmeric extract it also has ascorbic acid but um, like I told you it has very less amount of ascorbic acid like this one so I thought of comparing this similar things and mentioned which one worked better for me and in this case this one for the win so next I have these two face marks and these are for like if you want again some nourishment and if you want some glow so this is from brown skin beauty uh, the texture and everything is quite nice of this mask but if i have to pick one between this and this i'm gonna pick this one because uh, it worked better for me i felt it made my skin softer and my skin felt uh, better like it gave me more glow uh, so yeah 
this one definitely worked better for me i won't be repurchasing this one but if i have to compare between this 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 and this then this is gonna be number one this is gonna be number two this is gonna be number three and this is gonna be number four so the main components of this mask are mostly clays and those emollients this brands actually try to make clay masks that don't feel drying and there they did a good job for the performance wise i told you which one i would prefer over what and the last thing i have this insta glow almond pack so initially it worked really well for me but then i applied and it gave me pimples so i was like uh, why because the texture again quite nice then it has ingredients like licorice which is very good for skin brightening it also has basil turmeric neem aloe vera and it really worked well for me initially but then i don't know what happened i think i've spoken about this before as well but this is one update about this and now it's not working for me for my skin each time i apply i applied twice after that and it gave me pimples so sad about this i also tried they have one rose petal mask that worked well but about just herbs face packs what happens uh, their face packs they sting my this area a lot and that's constant that's something i noticed similar with their face packs i have tried two face packs from them so that's there so if you have sensitive skin then maybe their masks may not work for you and i'm very sad because it worked so well for me but now it doesn't so yeah there you have it all the face packs i have tried and i hope you found this to be helpful and if you want any more details if you have any questions uh, ask me in the comments box i'm gonna be there and uh, about the ingredients more uh, in-depth ingredients analysis i'm gonna make one uh, this instagram a post about all these things next month so yeah and i hope you are doing well so happy to see you so happy to have you here and i'm gonna see you really soon then again bye bye